Babylon is decadent, beautiful to look at, but empty. It's an ode to Hollywood lost in its disarray, without a well-written script that would otherwise have brought it all together. At over three hours in length, Babylon, written and directed by Damien Chazelle, who made waves with Lilla Land, is far too bloated, chaotic, and hollow to be called good. It has a buzzing, feverish energy that gets lost in daydreaming, and while it has a great cast, it takes too long to make a point as it winds its way to its conclusion. Set over two decades from 1926, Babylon follows a plethora of characters as the film industry transitions from silent to sound. Nellie Leroy is an aspiring actress who finds success as a silent film star but struggles with the changes in Hollywood around her. Jack Conrad is a famous silent film actor who is coming to the end of his era and struggling to let go. Manny Torres is a movie assistant who becomes a successful film producer. Eleanor St. John is a renowned gossip columnist who writes about the highs and lows of Hollywood's most famous films. And Sidney Palmer is a jazz trumpeter who dreams of doing more than just play at parties. The characters have to deal with their fair share of trial and error as everything they know begins to change. Ultimately, Babylon is the kind of movie that thinks it's doing something deep when it's not. It is covered in splendor, but at its core it is painfully superficial. It's easy to get distracted by the glitz and glamour that make up nearly every image, but Chazelle fails to properly develop her characters beyond the fine typeface that makes up their on-screen journeys. Babylon is underwhelming despite its surprising approach, which could easily have distracted from the razor-thin story underneath. The length of the film does not hide a lack of cohesion within the story and prolong the events to the detriment of the film. There is indeed something to be said for how Hollywood can boost someone's career before tearing it down when things change, forgetting that those people existed even if their impact is somehow preserved, that the film industry, as it evolves, produces art that leaves a mark forever, even as actors, producers and directors come and go like waves on a beach is a thoughtful assessment, but Babylon doesn't dig deep enough because it fails to explore the layers and nuances of such a statement. Chazelle's film is quite explosive, although it contains significant moments that go beyond its over-the-top execution. It's certainly a matter of style rather than substance here, and Babylon has no chance of salvaging any of its flimsy storylines because the inner workings of the characters are too random to be consistent. Babylon's opening night sequence has flair and a heck of a performance from Margaret Robbie, but the rest of the film never delivers on the promise the scene makes for each of its characters. The cast strives to elevate their characters and give them a bit more depth than the script allows. This is particularly the case of Margaret Robbie and Diego Calva, who each offer a certain nuance in their interpretations. Robbie conveys Nellie's reverie and courage while showing the fear and frustration that come with the turning point in her career. Calva, meanwhile, plays Manny's enthusiastic assistant who takes every opportunity that comes his way to build a legacy he hopes will last. There's a lot of undeveloped desire in Calva's character, but she manages to make it believable, albeit approved. The rest of the cast is solid, though the characters are all undermined by Babylon's focus on greatness above all else. There is too much glitter and the film almost drowns in it. The characters are largely sidelined in a film that is essentially a dizzying void. The great cinematography and costumes can't make up for its emptiness, both in what it tries to say and how it tries to say it. Babylon hits theaters on Friday, December 23rd. The film is 188 minutes long and rated R for strong and crude sexual content, graphic nudity, bloody violence, drug use and pervasive language. Our rating, 2 out of 5. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.